books are my treasure. I read whatever I please. I'm here to tell you the treasure that you need. To learn how to read, you must know what words mean. My friend, the princess, has stories for you. They're all about words and what they mean. So here's the princess with a story for you. Listen carefully to her, then go get your hooks into books. Oh yeah! Now we're going to visit for a moment Desmond the Dragon. He can remember everything and he will review for us what we learned in our last episode. Take it away, Desmond. In the last episode, we learned that the word she is another word for a girl or a woman. If you hear or see the word she, you know it means girl or woman. My cousin is taking magic lessons. She's getting really good. Do you think my cousin is a girl or boy? Yes, she's a girl. She's a girl unicorn. Good work. Now back to the princess to see what she's doing. Our story today is about a question word, when. When means it is the time you get to do something. Let's see how many sounds are in the word when. Ready? W-e-n. There are three sounds in the word when. When you say that word, do you notice that your lips are very round? When. When starts with the very same sound that's who, where, what, when. They all start with the very same sound. Now if you were to take a pencil and write letters for those sounds, this is what the word when would look like. When means the time you get to do something. There are a lot of words that you will hear your mother, teachers, and friends use when they want to find out when they're going to do something. They may want to do it right now, or they might do it later, and you have to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait to do it later. That's when we're going to do it. When can also be daytime, when we get up, and nighttime, when we go to sleep. That's another time you get to do something. That's when you do it. We also might talk about when as today we'll do it, tomorrow we'll do it, or it's all done. We did it yesterday. That's when we did it. Sometimes when means the order you do something. You do some things first, next, and last. That's when you do them. When can even mean doing something before and something after. That's when we do it. That's the time you get to do it. When can also be the time on your watch or on a clock. When you get to do it. Our story today takes place at a little girl's home. The characters in a story are a little girl and her auntie. They live together and they are a family. The problem is the little girl wants to do something very special and she wants to know when she gets to do it. Let's see what happens. This is a little girl. It is nighttime. That's when she is sleeping. She's in her bed and she is dreaming. Now dreams are when you have pictures and stories in your head. Some dreams are scary and make us want to cry or have our moms come in and sleep with us the rest of the night. Or some dreams are silly and we wake up laughing. 
Well, this little girl was dreaming about something silly, and when she woke up, she was still laughing about her dream. So she went down to her auntie and she said, let me tell you about my dream. You know how much I like chocolate pudding. Well, last night I dreamed I made so much chocolate pudding, it filled up a swimming pool and I was swimming in it. Now, how silly is that? Well, her aunt started to laugh and she said, well, I have an idea. I can almost make your dream come true. Now, we're not going to make enough pudding to swim in, but I think we could make enough chocolate pudding to fill up your tummy. Would you like to do that? And the little girl said, yes. When will we do it? Today or tomorrow? And her auntie said, well, let's see. And she looked at her watch and she said, we have time to do it today. Today is when we'll do it. But first we have to get in the car and go get the ingredients. That means the stuff you put in a bowl to make the pudding. Well, when will we go to the store, said the little girl. And her auntie said, we will go right now. We will not wait until later. We will do it now. So they got in the car, went off to the store, and that afternoon, when they got home, they had a whole bag of ingredients or the things that go into making pudding. Let me show you what they bought. So they have all the things ready, and the mother said, I have another idea. Would you like to call your girlfriend, Belle, and see if she would like to come over? So the little girl borrowed her mother's cell phone and called Belle and ask Belle if she could come over and together they would make chocolate pudding. So Kiki, go answer the door and let Belle come play. Hi Belle, I am so glad you could come over and play today. Have you ever made chocolate pudding? Oh no honey, I sure have not. Do you like it? I think I do. Okay, it's really good. I think you'll like it. Well, I've helped my mother make it before, so I know how to do it. And she told me I had to wear her apron, though, because she didn't want me to get all dirty. An apron is something you put over your clothes, so if you make a mess, it gets on the apron. You ready to start? I surely am. Well, when you make pudding, you have to do things in a certain order, or it really turns out yucky. So I'm going to show you how you do it, so when you try it at home, you can do it. Ready? I'm ready. The first thing we have to do is get a box of pudding mix. Right now, I'm going to open it. So I am opening, opening the pudding. Opening. That ing on the end means I'm doing it right now. Opening. Oh, there's another thing to open. What am I doing, Belle? You're opening. That's right. I'm opening the pudding. Now I'm dumping it in the bowl. What am I doing? Dumping it in the bowl. Right. Now that's done. The next thing we have to do is pour the milk. So I'm opening the milk. What am I doing? Opening. And now I am pouring. Pouring. Right. You're catching on. I'm pouring the milk. Pouring the milk. Now, the last thing we need to do, we have opened, we have poured, now we're going to have to stir. Do you think we should use the large whisk or the small whisk? I'm thinking maybe the small whisk. Okay, I think you're right. Let's use the small whisk. You know what? That word whisk starts with the same sound as when. My lips go round. Well, oh, this is going to take a long, long time. You're good at making up songs. Can you think of a song about what we did first, next, and last when we did those things? I think I can. Okay, teach me a song. First. First, first we pour pudding in the bowl. 
first, 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 put four, put it in the bowl. How's that? I like it. Okay, what did we do next? Next, 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 we poured the milk in the bowl. <laughs> Good. Now, what am I doing last? Last, 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 you stir, stir in the pudding in the bowl. Whew, that was uh, hard. <laughs> that's a mouthful. That was a mouthful. So we did some things first, some things last. And you know what? This is very thin and drippy. But it smells good. Does it smell good? It it's sure does. thin and drippy. I'm learning to read, and it says here on the box, because words tell us how to do things, it says here that it should be thick. This is not thick, is it? <laughs> not ah, Maybe I'm supposed to stir it fast. Does that look better? It, it looks a little bit better. I think so. Look, it's getting thicker and thicker. Now, we have a decision to make. We have marshmallows. Do you like marshmallows? I sure do. Well, what do you notice about the marshmallows I that my mother that got? They're different colors. Yes. Now, Belle, the next thing you have to decide is what are we going to do with the marshmallows? I, I think we should put them on top of the pudding. Good idea. Now they're all different colors. How should we do that? I, I think I'd like the green ones to go with my green outfit. Sure, that makes sense. And I could use pink ones to go with my outfit. What about your mom? Oh, I think she wants different colored ones. Okay. That's an idea. You know what? I think we need Kiki's help here. If I had my magic wand, Kiki, help me. We need to make this pudding get thick. <laughs> Kiki, that is a whisk. That is not a wand. Let's try it again. Thanks, Kiki. That is a wand. I'm going to do some magic and see if we can make the pudding turn very thick. Are you ready? Wow, that worked. Did you see that? It was unbelievable. Look at the pudding. Oh, you think it got too thick? Oh, it looks good to me. Boy, a little magic in the kitchen there. All right, now we're going to put the pudding in the bowl. You ready for this? I sure am. I think the cooks get to lick this when we're done. What do you think? I think that's a good mm. idea. You can, you, in fact, I'll let you have it since you're my company. Thank ready? You. Okay. We're putting it in the bowls. Putting it in the bowls. There's one for you. Putting it in the bowl. In the bowl. Oh, whoops, that one didn't go in the bowl, did it? <laughs> no, it did not. <laughs> no, it sure didn't. It got on the table, though, but not in the bowl. It's the same color as a table. <laughs> it is. It is. We'll have to remember to wipe it off the table, though. Okay, now we have the pudding in the bowls, and we're going to put the marshmallows now, do you want them inside the pudding or on top? I want them on top. Okay. Since you are my company, I will do yours first. There's your marshmallows on top of the pudding. They look very beautiful. And look, it's the same color. Now I'll do one for your mother, and I'll be sure that all of the marshmallows are different. Look at that. They look different to me. There you are. They are all different. And I will have marshmallows that are the same color as my dress. Look at that. There. We took care of that. Now, I bet you're wondering, when do we get to eat it? Do we eat it now or later? 
What do you uh, think? I, I'm all for now. Me too. I think that's what we should do. So, have a spoon and we will eat our pudding right now. Ready, set, go. Mmm. Now you know all about the day when we made the chocolate pudding with Belle. We now have a rhyme or rap to help you remember the word when. Are you ready? The time to start and the time to end can be known by asking when. The time to start and the time to end can be known by asking when. Okay, you have another new word. This is a question word that tells you the time you're going to do something. But remember, it will take 50 repetitions to make this word yours. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 repetitions. Bye for now and have a great day. Now the story is over. The princess is through. Take this new word and let it work for you. Find the word in books. Hear the word in stories. You will be amazed. So go get your hooks into books. Oh yeah!